Hi, uh, welcome. Uh, this is a short uh, guide to help you create a green uh, communication campaign. This is a series, part of a series of a practical resources under the Play Green EU funded project led by the nonprofit consultancy EcoSurveys. My name is Christina and I will uh, guide you through these um, quick resource. Um, you also have this presentation as part of one of the project intellectual outputs and everything I mentioned is available to, to download. So welcome. Um, when we want to create a communication campaign, we can do it in several ways. I'm going to explain a pretty straightforward way to do it. It's based in three stages, prepare, launch, and evaluate. And out of the things that we learn, we can prepare our next campaign. Under the prepare uh, part, we have several uh, important things to take into account. The first thing is the goal of the campaign, to whom it's addressed, so who's your target audience, then how you should define your channel, the channel that you want to use, that it's better, better for your target audience. Then what, so you need to define your message, check hashtags and the influencers in that field. Then who, so define who is going to, who is going to do it, meaning that um, Christina is going to do it, Aniol is going to do it uh, the following week. So who is in charge of doing it? when it's going to be done, so the finding deadlines is very important, and then indicators, so you should uh, put yourself some goals, direct goals, how many likes per image you want to achieve, and indirect goals, so um, the, the campaign is going to help uh, in general to, for instance, increase followers overall. I think you should launch it. To, to launch the campaign, there are, many, there are three uh, stages. Ready, I, I said ready, study, and go. In the ready phase, um, we recommend, so this is a method that we have created, and it's pretty uh, standard when you, for grassroots movements to do it like this. So you said, for instance, a Google Drive, it can be another platform as well and make sure that all the organizers of the campaign have access to it and can edit it. Then having sure that everyone has access to it, you avoid having problems in the future. Then secondly, organize the Google Drive in a convenient and logical manner. For example, research, all the research documents on climate change, sports, being active, and useful documents that you want to cite and quote. Then put there all the social media logins that everyone who is managing the campaign is going to be able to find because it's very usual that people say, okay, well, I cannot access uh, the Instagram account and I don't know where the login is. I'll make sure that it's there on the Google Drive. Then campaign. Um, under a campaign folder, you can have a toolkit uh, in a Word document or Google, Google Word document with a key message to send and hashtags and then you also create another folder uh, with images and posters okay so here you have an example of uh, the toolkit that it's um, from the campaign for rights for climate jobs and justice the usa and if you click here you you will be able to go there this is to to see that there, there are many examples of this, but this is how social media movements are organized. Then for, uh, for Playgreen, uh, you have a resource, and um, if you click here, you go to a, to a page that it's um, this one. Basically, you will see here that um, this is a live document, and you can set the date, the hour, where the campaign is going to start and you put here the goal engage young people interested in climate change into doing the sports then uh, you put the official hashtag in this case is playground 
can you can put here the link to uh, to images that can be used. So anyone that wants to uh, use um, some images for the campaign already have a resource in place. So in this case, you will see that we have different images and it's um, for sustainable future and sport. Then you have different ones that, that you can use and post. This is um, useful because they will go in line or they can go in line with uh, several tweets or, or so you here you have several tweet examples and posts for Facebook and Instagram as well. And you can put your own and then um, use them, would use these ones or put, or put your own. Then <clears throat> once you have um, created the document, the toolkit, what you do is you go to the steady part. So you create a WhatsApp or Telegram group or Facebook group, it doesn't matter, and ask people uh, who are the first line of influencers next to you, you ask them um, if they want to contribute to the to the campaign. Under the campaign toolkit uh, or another document you have created, you should define the time where the campaign launches. So as you have seen uh, here, you have a place where it says day and hour. So for instance, we can say that it's going to be on June the 25th uh, at 8 or 9 a.m. Oops, 9 a.m. in the morning CT. Then everyone is aware that this is when it's going to start. Then share the campaign toolkit so everyone can be ready and they can use that and then launch when when everything so everyone is aware of that you can start you can go so basically everyone is gonna know that on the 25th uh, of uh, june at nine uh, they can share all the messages the benefit of that is that if everyone shares the same message, the same image, the same hashtags, it creates a sense of community. It creates a sense of a lot of people are doing the same, using the same tweet at the same time. So this is noted by social media. Um, then, well, as I said, you launch the, the Instagram post, tweets, Facebook, share it on WhatsApp groups so other users can retweet it as well, like it and keep using that WhatsApp group to share the information uh, there so people can like, retweet until the campaign is over. When the campaign is over is up to you. The most important thing is when it starts. So you should like, you should make sure that social media is full of your message at the same time, the same day. Then we go to about the evaluation. So for the evaluation, um, you should have set some indicators. How many people, it's important to know how many people you reach, how many likes per image, any comments that you had, what are the comments about, analyze that. And then you can set new indicators for, um, for, the, the, for the next campaign. So that will be your turn to create. Um, we have seen this image uh, already, so you should think about the goal, to whom, how, what, who, when, and set indicators. And we have, this is an example, uh, a goal can be to communicate the green activities, so activities that you do to, to, <clears throat> on, on, sorry, uh, activities that you are doing for your green event to whom so other sport organizations who already are interested we're going to share it this case on instagram and facebook and we're going to say pretty much the same message and we're going to use the the videos and then the video sorry the images that, that we created and who's in charge well i'm going to say arthur and peter 
uh, Arthur is going to be in charge of um, of Instagram and Peter of Facebook. And then we agreed that, well, here we put the second uh, well, <laughs> November 2, 2019, that it will be 25th of June, 25th of June or, or whatever we decide. And then these are the indicators that that uh, we want to reach. This is just an example. So if you have more than one goal, you should. So here we have two goals. One is to communicate the green activities and the second one to reach uh, volunteers. So for each goal, you, you have um, a different kind of indicators, maybe or maybe you merge them, but you should you should certainly define um, to whom and, and what channels you want to you, you want to use. An alternative to this to this uh, way of doing it is um, well, we have created a kind of a tool so you can uh, in your own time you can uh, click here and uh, add the link so you can you can basically download it and do this so you can print it and and use it to to define uh, your goal and, and indicators and who's your target audience so yeah and well that's that's it um, I hope it was useful you can let me know uh, let us know on the comments and this is a project uh, funded by the co-founded by the Erasmus plus program of the European Union it's coordinated by the non-for-profit uh, conservatives uh, with the partners that you can see here uh, we have federations uh, and EXO and uh, Please let us know if the resources are any useful and if you have other tips, uh, we are always welcome to learn and make sports greener and engage people to play sports. <laughs>